Bunch, Art in the Age of Solidarity, is on display at the Tier Hewn Gallery in the Center for Fine and Performing Arts Building at Owens Community College. Artist Paul Verdell's work is featured at the exhibit. Welcome, Paul. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. You've got some pieces that are on display for launch Art in the Age of Solidarity. Let's talk about the number of pieces you have and, and what they are. So I have three pieces on display, um, and I actually, the one piece I do uh, have that I, I really like is called the uh, Carolinians, and it's a, it's a large painting about five foot of uh, two, two uh, family members uh, that I had just painted. I found a photo, and I ended up painting it. Um, but uh, I have three paintings in there. Uh, unfortunately, I actually forgot the names of the two smaller paintings because those were kind of off the uh, those were kind of off the sketching block. <laughs> so when I make a bigger painting or a painting that I take more time on, I can remember the name of it. When it's like a smaller painting, it, it's kind of hard. But if you you know you'll see my name on the uh, on the uh, you know near it. <laughs> well, well, let's talk a little bit about that and how the creative process uh, works mm -hmm. with you. You said that uh, if, if it's a it's a larger piece, it becomes almost a, a baby for you, right? It's it's yes. really personal. Not that the other ones are not, but you're you're still in the creative process with these others. It sounds as if you're saying. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just kind of like a lot of these, a lot of times I'll do the, these smaller paintings and I'll consider them more as sketches because I'll work very fast on them and work really just kind of like, you know, I, I might make something in like 30 minutes or something like that with those and then kind of put it to the side and then try to translate it into a bigger piece. What's that process like when you say, you know, if, if I've got an idea... I'll sketch it out and maybe it'll only take me 30 minutes. Now I, of course, mm -hmm. am not an artist. And, yeah. and it would take me much longer to try and sketch out something and it would not look nearly as good as what you could create. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the process is generally, uh, I have a studio downtown in downtown Toledo and I just basically, I come in and uh, it's a studio. I get, I usually get here in the mornings cause that's when I like to work and um, I'll start with some mini, like, small sketches, whether they be drawings or paintings. It really just depends on how I feel that day. And um, I'll start off with that. And then a little later towards the day, I might work on a bigger piece that I'm taking more time on. But, yeah, that's generally how the process goes. And, and with that type of work, because I mostly do – uh, figurative, uh, still lifes, and I've actually been working on landscapes lately. Um, I look at photo references. Uh, I also draw and paint from life, so I might have a model sit for me, or I might have a still life going. Um, and with the landscapes, recently I've been going around to the metro parks and just sitting down and, and drawing. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much a lot of how my process goes is it's just me being out and about sometimes and then taking that back into the studio. <laughs> Tell me about the launch art in the age of solidarity and, and your participation in this exhibit, uh, your motivation, uh, the reason that you chose the piece that you did and mm -hmm. what, what does launch art in the age of solidarity mean to you? So launch, uh, means to me, uh, you know, one of the things that we wanted to focus on with launch was we wanted to give the voice of black artists uh, a, you know, to, to, to be able to put their work out there. I have friends that I had talked to who were artists in the city and they just kind of would paint or do, you know, whatever type of thing, sculpture or whatever, and they've never shown their work. And what we wanted to do was we wanted to reach out and say, hey, we're, we're just going to put this show out there. You know, uh, the Owens, Owens Community College has a great gallery and we can, you know, put your work on display. So a couple of other artists have never had their work up. So, you know, I'm assuming to them that means a lot, you know, it, displaying your work um, for me. I, I've been doing work for a while now, I actually left um i went to bgsu and uh i graduated around 2018 and i've been doing residencies and 
kind of going around and painting and just kind of doing the art thing for a while. So for me, um, to be in a group of artists from Toledo is, is, is amazing to me. And it makes me feel a little bit more part of the community. When you talk about part of the community, what kind of networking takes place among artists? Um, most times it's, you know, networking around here is a little more difficult, I've noticed, because there's a lot of hidden artists. There's a lot of people who practice but aren't necessarily putting their work out there. They just like somebody will be like, hey, so-and-so is a great drawer or is a great painter. And you have to go find them, <laughs> essentially, because they won't, you know, they might not want to really display their work. Or they, you know, the other thing, too, is they might not have had the opportunity to display their work. So that's one of the reasons why we had this show is to give the opportunity back. Uh, one of the reasons why a launch is uh, predominantly black artists. We wanted to give that opportunity to people who are making work to show and display it. What comments would you like to make on the two smaller pieces that you have at the exhibit? Uh, the two, the two smaller pieces, like I said, they were sketches, so they were kind of something, but, um, what I would like to say about those is, uh, one of them is actually a, a portrait of a friend of mine who I had kind of sit for me. And then the other one is a portrait as well, but, uh, I actually did that from my mind. I didn't look at any reference. I didn't, I just said I wanted to draw a face. I didn't have anybody around that day. And I said, I'll just draw something. So, um, and I think that for people, people will have to go in and kind of see if they can tell the, the, you know, the difference, you know, from something that just comes out of your head and then something that when you have a visual, visual representation and right in front of you. Well, thank you for joining us. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. I appreciate it. Artist Paul Verdell's work is featured in Launch, Art in the Age of Solidarity, on display at the Terre Hune Gallery in the Center for Fine and Performing Arts Building at Owens Community College. Yeah.